across Texas. The issue is. I'm Stephen Dial in Dallas. I'm Rudy Kosky in Austin. I'm Greg Grugan in Houston, and this is Texas. The issue is. It's a big topic and a big debate over school choice. After his stay of the state, Governor Greg Abbott announced that he wants lawmakers create education savings account, but it's not popular with everyone. We caught up with the governor after he spoke to the Arlington Chamber of Commerce. A big topic has been uh, education savings accounts. How will this work? Some people say, well, this, this is going to cause schools to shut down or something like that. That's very uninformed because what we saw, we, we've seen uh, more than 350,000 students leave public schools and go to charter schools, but we haven't seen uh, public schools close down, and we certainly haven't seen uh, any effect on high school football. And these education savings accounts have proven to be very successful in other states, and I created one here in the state of Texas for special needs students that worked very well, uh, so much so that uh, the legislature wanted to expand it and uh, to provide more funding for it. The Dallas ISD superintendent uh, during your state of the state tweeted saying, if this happens, private schools should be held to the same accountability and transparency. How can that happen? If they're private, they can't be held to a state standard, can they? Well, they, they, they can be held to accountability standards. And the way that it would be structured, there would be a third party in charge of uh, ensuring uh, that accountability will be upheld. The state can, can impose accountability for any, any institution that receives this money. So yeah, accountability will, will apply. In the past, when this subject has come up, of course, Democrats have opposed it in a, a majority setting, but some rural Republican lawmakers has all, have also opposed it. What, what's different now? Two things are different. Uh, one is we know for a fact uh, that uh, Republicans in particular, but really a majority of all Texans, support this, whether uh, you're in urban, suburban, or rural areas, uh, if you're black, white, or Hispanic, or Asian, uh, or if you're Republican, Democrat, or independent, majorities of all those categories strongly support it. More than 80% of Republicans support this, including in the rural areas. And so in rural areas, if a Republican representative votes against this, they're actually voting against their own constituents. So you're very confident that this will not reduce funding for public schools? For one, absolutely yes. But the way funding works for public schools is it, it provides funding uh, for the students who go to those schools. And so th those schools will continue to attract uh, new students every single year uh, and their funding will remain in place. Uh, this does not harm public schools in rural areas or elsewhere. And as a result, th there's no reason to have this fear raised about it because we've seen that it can work very effectively. Hot button topic, Rudy Koski, what do you think of that interview? Well, uh, let's go with my word. And I was consulting my old home homeroom uh, teacher and she provided me uh, a vocabulary worksheet. There's so many words here that we could pick from, right? You know, the governor said uninformed, that's a word. Uh, he also said accountability, that's a word. Uh, but the word that I'm choosing from my homeroom worksheet that my teacher gave me is entitlement. Okay. Greg Grugan, I know you didn't bring any props. What's your word? Steven, I'm throwing the penalty flag on, on Koski, but my word is something <laughs> everybody craves. Options. When you're in a bad place, right. options are something that, that you can really use. Okay. Well, I'm sure you guys will have a lot more words when the Fox Texas Trio comes back right after this break.